Hi everyone, it's Karen. Um, I've missed you, probably not as much as you've missed me, but I did miss you. Um, and I am back. I, um, I just felt um, like I was just losing my mind. I was so stressed out and um, I needed a break and it turned out to be a really long break that I did not intend and um, it just started getting easier not to do anything and I got away from my card making and um, it really bugged me so um, I'm slowly coming back and um, I made a couple of cards that I actually um, saved. I have a Christmas card was one of my examples. I hadn't sent it to my aunt because I was saving it for one of my examples and now I can't find it. So now not only do I not have it to show you, but I also don't have a card from my aunt. So I do have um, a couple of the cards I'm gonna make um, as samples. And I am calling this card the card tag, like a Heart attack, heart attack, but a card tag. Um, and when I show you, you'll know why. Um, I also, you know, part of my stress in making the videos was I wasn't, had no idea how to edit. Um, and I just felt like if I made a mistake, I had to start all over again. And that I'm not doing. I'm going to just do my video. And when I screw up, you'll see it. And then you'll also see how I fix it. So um, if you're not into that and you don't want to see a video where it's not edited, this is not the place for you because I'm sure I'm going to make a bunch of mistakes. And um, so I hope you hang around and I hope that, um, you know, you can put up with me. As you know. So anyway, um, let me put you down and kind of show you. So these are the cards that... I have been making. So as you can see, they are um, cut with a tag top, which shouldn't work like that because it only should have the tag size that goes inside. But if you jam paper in hard enough, it actually works. So I... Um, I'm gonna show you that. So this is the actual whole card in the ribbon. Um, and as you can see, it has two tags that got jammed in there. And then um, this is where you write. So I just, you know, you just have it enough to hide, you know, what you're saying in case they wanna, you know, of course, like put it on a mantle for the rest of the year as like, something everyone would want to stare at all the time. So anyway, there is this one and this one, and this is all from the um, stamp set Peony something, the Peony stuff. And uh, I really love these colors and have kind of been addicted to them for a few months. So. I'm gonna make one more out of this paper and then I'm gonna retire that paper for this exact card. So anyway, so this is just another example. And this is um, called gray granite paper, the gray and the ribbon is also gray granite. And um, basically I can't find, this is um, petal pink and I cannot find um, a, any ribbon for that. I know I have it, but I don't know if you recall, I've shown you pictures of my scrap room and um, I've actually hired someone to help me so that now I have to get it done. So things are coming along, but like my other cards that disappeared, um, yeah, having trouble finding some stuff. So let's get started. Okay, so you want to start off with a regular card base and um, so it's half of an eight and a half by 11 sheet. So it is um, at eight and a half by five and a half. And we usually at this time would score it at four and a quarter, but we are not gonna do that. So what we're going to do is you're gonna take your paper and the short side, you're 
going to line it up with a ruler or with the graph paper is awesome because it's just here and big and you can see it. Now you can alter where you want the um, card to close. Like, would you rather it here? Would you like it down low? Would you like it up here? You can choose and do whatever you like. Um, but I'm gonna show you this thing and it's kind of weird, but it, when I show you, it'll make sense. Are you getting the whole picture there? So um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna measure up however high you want um, the thing to go. And I've been doing about one and a half. So what you wanna do is instead of just turning it around and marking it again at one and a half, that puts the two marks on opposite ends and it's really hard to match them up. So what you're gonna do is you mark it at one and a half and then just flip it upside down and do the same thing. Mark it at one and a half. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our tag punch um, I'm not sure what the name of this one is, but it's one of the tag punches. And I will list all the products and sizes down um, in the way you write the stuff. And I will also, well, my blog is, is pretty much done. I think on Tuesday I get my, Monday I get my lesson on how to use it. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. All right, so you're gonna take your tag and you're gonna force your paper in. And that sounds kind of vulgar. I mean, not vulgar, but kind of radical. That's not really what we're doing. So you can see right here is my mark. So what I do is just match it up right at the edge of the punch. And you can mark it, you know, you can do it there, you can bring it in, but whatever you decide, just do the same thing on the opposite side. So I'm going to do what I do and I'm, I mark it at the outside piece of plastic and there we go. And once you think it's, oh yeah, crooked. Once it's in there good and it's where you want it, you're just going to punch it, take the little paper out, why are you keep coming out? This has never happened once. I have been doing this for days, and I got another. I got another half of the card. Relax. We're gonna do it. So we gotta mark it again. See, this is where I would have panicked and started all over, but I'm not doing that. It's just not worth the not the aggravation because I don't mind that. It's the stress that I put on myself for not doing it right. And I'm just trying to make myself relax a bit more because it's not good for my blood pressure, apparently. Um, so I'm just trying to take things easy these days. All right, so now we are gonna punch again. Oh my God, this has not happened once. Okay, it does work. I'm not kidding, and I'm just going to sit here until it does. I mean, clearly I can't use this paper, but I don't understand what its issue is. Oh, I just wasn't pushing far enough, and I just broke off my buckle. All right, so see, it does work. So clearly I didn't have another piece cut because I didn't think I could screw up that quick into the video. So... I have done it here, and um, I can show you it one more time or two more times just so you know that I'm not lying. So just push it all the way in, and that was my problem. I just didn't punch hard enough. So, well, that's not going to work because you're not going to see how to finish that. All right, we're going to cut this in half. Like, who thought, really? I thought, oh, I'll make a couple of mistakes. Who would have thought? I would have just screwed up so fast. All right, so four and a quarter. So how you guys been? Good, glad to hear it. I really have missed you. And um, I'm just really, really glad to be back. And I feel like, I feel calm. So I really feel like this is gonna be 
wood is a, a good thing. I really do. Do you guys feel that way? So, how many people have been um, looking at the catalogs? Pretty cool, huh? There's a lot of good stuff coming out. A lot of good stuff that's out. And um, I pretty much have bought mostly all of it. Did I just break my own rule? Like that? No, I didn't. Guys, stop accusing me. All right, so match that up. Flip it over so that we get a good grip and you squeeze it all the way and it works. Now we're going to go to, see, I did screw up. Why don't you guys tell me? So then I want to go here. I didn't screw up. All right, I'm going to lose my mind. Uh, see, the old Karen would be so stressed out. No, this is Karen 2.0. And I gotta say, I, I am really offended by people talking about people. All right, like, my name is Karen. I don't need people on TV saying that all Karens are fat, loud, and obnoxious. I might be fat, and I'm, I'm not really loud. And I, I know I'm probably obnoxious, but... And I think I'm gonna sue somebody for defamation of character. I'm gonna work on that. All right, sorry. Okay, so now, before, well, we wanna make a score at three and a half inches. So we're gonna be cutting these tabs off. So we wanna make that before we cut those tabs off. So just score that baby up. Oh, I still need you. So then what we're gonna do to cut these little tabs off is you're gonna line this point right here where it cut and this point in this track and then we're going to tip it over and you're going to take this is your scoring blade the light one this one and this is your cutting blade so we're going to cut just till we know we hit that little you know where we had used the punch and then you're going to slide it across and you're going to come down and do that so we're also going to need this side. We um, need a score mark right on where that tag is. So we don't do that on the other side, but on this side, we need that score. And I'll show you why. All right, so we're doing the same, oh, doing the same thing, going right to that point and coming from the top. And there we go. So. This is our card. And what's going to happen is you're going to bend that over and then we're going to close this, which is going to make where we close the card and tie our bow. So because I'm using gray, because of the colors I chose to go with it, um, I'm not using that one. So here we go. We got this. So this is our front cover of our card. So. I already cut these, but because I figured I must have screwed up by this point. So, so anyway, the first base um, is two and three eighths by five and three eighths. And how are you guys liking the new seal and seal plus? There is a little learning curve, um, and I'm going to teach you a secret if I can get it going. So, what you're going to do? See, this is what makes it look like it's really hard, but it's not. So what you're gonna do is you pull it down and then pull up like that, because then that's gonna keep the tape, the sticky part, and keep it to go over, because that's what happens, is when people pull it, it doesn't get back on the roller. So if you do this, it kinda does. I'm sure it doesn't work all the time, but it has been working. All right, so we are just going to Put this as close to where we want it. And we are going to put then our next base piece, which is missing. Oh, I guess I should have, oh, look, stuck to the bottom. Planned on a lot more screw ups, but. Okay, so the next layer is two and a quarter by five and a quarter.
and that is going over this one. And I've also made this card with like no layers at all, just the pattern paper right on um, the cardstock, and, and I love that card too. And if I could find that, that would be another example that I would have had. But I do have them up on my Facebook uh, group that I just started. And um, if anyone would like to be invited into that, because we're trying to keep, um, I keep getting on my, um, I have another like group about selling uh, cake decorating products and whatnot. And I keep getting these people that aren't from our country and they're men and they don't have any groups at all. They just, I don't understand it, but one of the times I went to check around and they had pictures of young, really young girls and they were saying really disgusting things. So I called my police station, my police station, and they said that there's nothing they can do because um, it's probably not coming from our country. And I said, I understand that, but they're making these comments about these young girls. He said, all we can tell you is to block them from your site, and, but it's like a daily thing. It's constant um, asking me, and I don't know why they're doing that in a craft um, group. I mean, maybe they should go to like heaven machinery. I don't know, but they really creep me out. So this group that I have now, which is called Scrap by Scrap We Craft, and my new blog is gonna be scrapbyscrap.com. So trying to fit that whole scrap by scrap. I don't know if you noticed that or not, but anyway, so that's why it's private and I'm happy to let any of you guys in and that's the only reason why it's private. Okay, here we go. Inside, which is this little, oh, you can't see. All right, this little strip here that, um, is what we'll be showing. So we gotta open this. So first layer is one and three eighths by five and a quarter. By, can I say that? Oops, I'm gonna go down. One and three eighths by five and a quarter, yes. So we are just layering this. That looks kind of crooked, but my undo is out of reach. I know, it shocked myself. Next layer is uh, one and one eighth by five. This is not it. I did buy my, I'm really moving up. I bought myself a silicone mat for that exact reason that just happened. But again, the whole craft we're moving is a, it's a big undertaking. All right, and the last layer for here is four and three quarters by one inch. So, and I'm using a lot more tape than I need to be using. But it's kind of fun. It glides really nicely. So if you want some adhesive that glides, that's what you want. Now I, I'm noticing I've got a little um, pencil mark. All right, so this is where we're at so far. And now we need our white piece for in here, which is probably something I did lose. So we shall cut another piece. So we, oh, I probably wrote the dimensions. Yes, the inside is two and a quarter by five and a quarter. I don't know how many of you have tried this um, new, it's not that new, but um, I broke my other one in half, so to me, it's new. Um, so, what did I say? Two and a quarter by five and a quarter. So, um, it, it's, the blades are so much better. I felt like I was constantly buying blades. And I've been using it a lot, and my blades are still great now for almost a year. So, I'm good with that. Um, and then we're going to go to five and a quarter. 
And we'll just double check that that's going to fit. Yep. And so my new plans for the new Karen point two zero zero or point two zero. I'll have to give that some thought. Um, I want to do some Zooms. I want to do some live YouTubes, live um, Facebook, because um, I like to chat. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but if you're new here, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know how you found me, but there's still time to run. And All right, so we are covering the white, which is good. And we're out here. So let us work on a sentiment. Now I got myself this little punch, which I love. And as a um, hostess gift, um, you can get one of these stamp sets. And this stamp set is um, fits in the heart punch, the oval punch. Um, this is the two-part oval. And then this is like a big postage stamp. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but. So I wasn't sure what colors to do. So I don't know, white or, yeah, I think I like the white and we'll stamp in the, um, what do we call it? Pink petal, petal pink. And what did I put on the other ones? We have a happy birthday and I hope you feel better really soon. So let's see what's left. I probably didn't even put anything back. So we could do, oh, let's do a thank you. What do you think, babe? My assistant is over here. Right, babe? I did have a few other cards to show you, um, but I, they are up on that um, Facebook group, and I'll list that down there too if you're interested or if you've already had enough of me already. I get that. I get that a lot, actually. All right, so just kind of center that as best I can. And... I'm going to tape this onto the gray, and then I'm going to pop up the gray, pop up the whole thingamajig. Because as I'm moving stuff, I have a ton of dimensionals, which apparently right now, it looks like I have none. Oh, here they are. So I said, I guess I really need to start popping some stuff up since I have so many. All right. So. Um, the other two I did higher. This one I think I'm gonna do the same height as our little closure. And then we would just take, let's steal it from this one. Not that I could tie a bow in real life or while I'm videotaping myself, but you know, miracles do happen, I hear. Not when I bought like a million dollars worth of mega million tickets and didn't even like, I don't even know what the prizes are. If you get like two or three numbers, I didn't even get that. So I really didn't need to know technically what the prizes were, but it would have been nice. I wouldn't mind it. See, I can't tie bows. Although I do have a little bow tying thing. But I'm trying to um, get more skill in my craft. All right, well, that's not that bad. It's kind of I tied it upside down, so it looks really good from that way. But, okay, well, this is the bow. <laughs> there we go, kind of. All right, so here is my new little trio of cards 
for my first time back after my um, stress attack. Oh, let's throw this out of the way and this out of the way. So these are all done, like I said, with the petal pink and the gray granite. Um, and the whole uh, DSP is the um, prized peony package, which is beautiful and I couldn't find that stamp set either. So, let me pop it back up. I hope this wasn't too obnoxious. It was only 25 minutes, which is good for me. Um, and I did miss you guys, so hopefully you'll come back. I would love it if you are here and you don't detest the sight of me. If you could subscribe and hit a like or any of those kind of things. Um, and I am trying to do um, at least one a week right now um, videos. But as soon as I get my craft room back, we're going, you know, all out. And we're going to do a couple of days or a couple of nights. I don't know. We'll figure it out. And I hope you come back for it. And um, I had fun. I hope you did too. So if you, all the information for the products will be down there. Um, yeah. So it was good to be back. I hope you guys um, like the card and I hope you make it. So um, everyone have a good night. Bye-bye.